Hey, everybody. It's the Ignited Coyote and Company. Yep. And it's flooding up in Harlan, Kentucky, that is. It's Thursday morning in Harlan, and uh, the folks up here got up to this. If you remember one of my videos about the coal monument, well, we're at it again down here at Baxter, except it's looking like this now. Yeah. Now this bridge is uh, has been closed for a long time. It's not closed because of the flood. Folks, we're still down here at the Coal Monument. Except we're looking uh, towards Harlan, up towards the old tunnels motel, towards the uh, flood tunnels where they redirected the uh, Clover Fork River. And uh, it's out in the road up there, everybody. Just beyond. Just beyond that, it's out in the road. If I can get it focused for you. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little closer. We're looking at the old Baxter Automotive Wholesale and Supply which has got water in it right now. And just beyond where this water's in the road is the old Tunnels Motel that's closed now. And just uh, a little piece of the road from that is the uh, Clover Fork River Diversion Tunnels, part of the 1977 Flood Control Project. And uh, I'm sure people's looking at this and saying, it's not controlling it very well. Not very diverted, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it serves its purpose. It, it was to protect the city of Harlan. And they already have the floodgate closed just beyond this, about another half mile up the road on this side of town. Look at the speed of the stuff in the middle of the river. Folks, we're looking at 119 going from Harlan to Cumberland. We're right here at the foot of what they call City Ridge. If you go that way, you'll go to Harlan. You'll go this way, you go to Southeast College, Cumberland, Benham Lynch. And they have got a major problem with runoff, looks like, from the mountain punding on that side of the road. See if I'm zooming in for you a little bit. It's flooding like this in Harlan, Lee County, Virginia, Bell County, Kentucky, Knox County, and uh, 
Carbon. I'm sure it's flooding in Corbin. And Barbara's here. There. Folks, can y'all imagine what Cumberland Falls looks like right now? It'd be almost worth a trip down there if they didn't have a roadblock somewhere with water in it. Folks, let's go down here to Harlan and take a look at the pumping station. We're at the pumping station in Harlan, and they are moving some water. You can hear the pumps going in there right now. It looks like they're getting ready to close the floodgates on this end of town right now. I've seen a, a fire truck, I believe, down here, and they're the ones that closes the gate. There's the pipes moving the water. If you notice, there's a guy right there, right there, checking a the rain gauge on the hill. Works for the city of Harlan. We're behind the village mile. In Harlem. I hope there's no horses or any other kind of animals in that barn over there. That's fresh hay. Look at that over there. You're looking at the community of uh, Dayhoit, Kentucky. And that looks like possibly that's the pieces of the house we've seen a few minutes ago. Up the teeth. We're in a parking lot of the Riverside Baptist Church. And what you have to remember is they say the water's still rising. There's some folks uh, standing right here watching it right now. Yeah, that looks like the uh, pieces of the house. That's what the guy's yelling about over there right now. Yeah. Oh, the, the man standing down here, right there says this is his neighbor's house. 
just washed it away. Like I said, folks, uh, Sad. if you pray, pray for these people. Hard times. When you get your house washed away or you lose it in a car, when you lose your home, it's hard times, hard times. Yeah, that's what that fellow's talking about over there. He uh, says it's a house. He's telling some people about it. He says, I think he said it was his neighbors. If that's what that is, that is so sad. There's the remains of somebody's life. There's somebody's life going right down the river in front of us. God bless them. Pray for them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even show this part of the video. I'm kind of feeling like I was invading somebody's privacy, but uh, these people are going to need help up here, and they're going to need prayer. And if this gets you praying, then I'll let you see it. We're still at Dehoit, Kentucky. This is the old Dehoit Road. Runs parallel to 119. And just before I turned my camera on, a rescue squad truck with a boat behind it went up with its lights and sirens on. So like, like I, I keep telling y'all, pray when you see this, it'll be probably two or three hours from now. It'll take me a while to edit it and get it up. But, uh, Pray, pray for these folks up here. I mean, if you stand here and look, you can physically see the river taking a few more inches at a time. I mean, you can see it. I mean, just right now, this, when I come, came down here a few minutes ago, was clear, and now the river's coming in right around me. Look at this. Just what time I was standing there, it started filling the gap and coming in around me. This water's coming up fast. I hope to God this flood don't turn out to uh, be as big as the one from 1977 or the floods before that. I hope all the flood control work they've done, the flood tunnels and diversions and the gates and the walls and the levees, I hope they all work to keep this from being worse than what it already is. Folks, we're back in uh, Harlan, and it looks like they're uh, possibly getting ready to close another floodgate. Over here, they've already got uh, two or three of them closed. They've got the TV news. Talking to them. There's a the town of Harlan out there. Just to give you a little perspective on where the gate's at. Folks, I just want to remind you to pray for all the people affected by this weather in southeast Kentucky and southwest Virginia and northeast Tennessee. Pray. Pray for the water to go down and the sun to come out. Folks, we're back in uh, Harlan, and it looks like they're uh, possibly getting ready to close another floodgate. Over here, they've already got uh, two or three of them closed. They've got the TV news. 
talking to him. There's a the town of Harlan out there. Just to give you a little perspective on where the gate's at. Folks, I just want to remind you to pray for all the people affected by this weather in southeast Kentucky and southwest Virginia and northeast Tennessee. Pray. Pray for the water to go down and the sun to come out. And there goes the water rescue, folks, out of Horland.